This is on. Yes, this Cloud5 sneaker is on my feet. I'm emphasizing on the word on because this is the sneaker's brand name. To me, I have no idea why I can't wrap my head around the name on. It is what it is, I guess. But in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Cloud5 sneaker from on. This sneaker weighs 250 grams with a seven millimeter heel drop. It costs $140 USD or $180 Canadian. The cushion itself is neutral and stable. There's not much to write home about. It's not very explosive in power and it doesn't really have over softness or step in comfort. It's going to be really good for everyday comfort if you're going to be walking and being on your feet all day. However, if you're going to be staying stationary for a long time and standing around, it's not really the best. It is very narrow in design. It doesn't really feel great on my wide feet. The materials used here are 44% recycled mesh upper with speed laces. It's an elastic lace that uh, allows you to slip in and out of the shoe really easily. They aren't the first ones to do this, but it is very nice and convenient to have. However, if you want classic laces, they are also within the box. They use a thicker material around the midfoot area to make sure that your foot is held down properly. And there's also a heel counter that's hidden underneath the mesh. The whole on brand is really riding on the midsole's design. It's not something that is really incredibly visually pleasing to me, but I've always mentioned that the shape of the midsole is really important. It's more important than the material, and then the material is important afterwards. And if you actually pair this midsole design from on with some patented cushion technologies out there, such as Adidas Boost or Nike React, I can see that it will be an incredible sneaker. All in all, my opinion of this model of Cloud5 is kind of weak. For the price point, for the look, the comfort, everything, and even the design, it feels very generic. Now, it is functional and it looks functional, but I wouldn't say that it's something that you're missing out on. But I could be proved wrong. So if you really love the Cloud5, let me know in the comments down below. However, one thing I do want to mention is that the outsole itself uh, only has grip and the forefoot and the heel area. But if you are looking for grip for the entire shoe, you're going to be missing it out in the midfoot area. So if you're a midfoot striker, you actually might slip on slippery tile surfaces or wet surfaces uh, that might need to grip in the middle area of your shoe because they took it out, I think, because of weight reduction. But I don't really know. Um, the other thing that's really good about the shoe is that it's light and it's very flexible. So that's definitely a plus. Anyways, this has been Billy Visuals. Y'all just got visualized and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.